it's surreal. I mean, really, it's just uh, it was hard not to to just just walk to set every day and just be like, just a, a, just oh my gosh, I, is this real? Like. <laughs> This uh, version of Sonic the Hedgehog, this is the film that I wanted to see when I was, you know, six years old in the 90s. Oh, that's great. For Sonic the Hedgehog. So thank you very much, man. Congratulations. Oh, very the welcome. Film. Thank I, you. Fantastic. I, yeah. what, what was your relationship with the games before you came on to the film? Did you play them growing up? Oh, yeah. I, I go back to 91 and, and the original release of, of Sonic. And I, I just, I love video games. I would play everything I could get my hands on. And Sonic came along and it was just... Uh, I mean, the speed of it, the, I mean, the, just the color, the, the whole experience of playing that game just made such an impression, and, and nothing more so than, than Sonic himself and Sonic as a character. I mean, it's, he, he's so memorable, and, and that's why I think we are making a movie about him almost 30 years later. I don't want to ask the controversial question, but um, where do you stand on Sonic Spinball? <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, there's so, so many fun components to Sonic and, and to the gameplay. Uh, we definitely incorporated as much as we could into the movie because, I mean, I think that's what's going to get the fans excited. And speaking of the fans, uh, I don't want to focus on the negative side of things, but it's, it'd be remiss of me if I didn't bring of up course. the original design. Lay it um, on me. Were you expecting the backlash that it got? Uh, you know, the only thing I would say that uh, it was always going to be, I think, the, the trickiest part of, of this endeavor was taking a character like Sonic and knowing we wanted to do a very... Uh, a very fully rendered version that would be able to, to integrate into live action and interact with humans required a level of detail uh, that no one had sort of seen before. Mm. I mean, stuff like Sonic, probably he needs to have fur. I mean, there's just fidelity and detail that's required in order to, to put him in a live action world. So I absolutely knew that that, that was going to be a, a very tricky thing. Yeah. What did you think of the original design when it was shown to you? Like, you know, as a, as a fan of the games. Uh, I mean, there was never, I mean, the way these things work is it's you're usually chipping away at it like one day, one week at a time. And the nature of visual effects is it's very, a very slow process. So it's never like, oh, this is the approved thing. You you might start from one place, but then you're kind of whittling away on it just day by day, week by week. Mm -hmm. um, so there wasn't well, like a moment where it's like, ta-da, <laughs> like this is what we're doing. It, it was it was just a process. But the, the, the new design is fantastic. Like Thanks. it's so good. Yeah, no, uh, I mean, it was such an amazing uh, experience to sort of reveal that in November and just, just to feel that swell of support from the fans. I mean, it was just, uh, it was amazing. And you mentioned you were like 1991, you're sort of like around sort of 13, 14 maybe. 13, yep. which, which means that as a teenager, you'd have been a big fan of Jim Carrey. Absolutely. And so what was it like then now to be directing Jim Carrey in a movie uh, where he is being his most Jim Carrey? <laughs> <laughs> it's surreal. I mean, really, it's just, uh, it was hard not to, to just, just walk to set every day and just be like, just, a, uh, just, oh my gosh, I, is this real? Like, just, you know, pinch me or, or, or throw coffee in my face or something. <laughs> like, it just doesn't seem possible. So, but it was just such an amazing experience. I mean, Jim is, is, is obviously such a, a he's a, a comedy genius, but he's also like, such a nice guy, so hardworking. He cared so much about uh, about doing something special with robotic and just worked so hard. It was just, it was amazing. Now, uh, there's a lot of Easter eggs in the movie. Uh, do you have a particular favorite Easter egg? Uh, you know, one of the last things we did, and, and I know it, people picked up on it because we put it in the, the November trailer, there's the little headband he wears, uh, and on the front of the headband while he's doing his little nunchuck gag, uh, it was a nod to the original title screen, which is the, the big sort of medallion with the wings on the side, and Sonic is usually in the middle of that, and that's how you're kind of uh, introduced to him as a character. So we pulled Sonic out of the, that because it would have been a little meta to have <laughs> Sonic on his bandana that he's wearing. Um, but that was just really fun, and I just love that, that everyone kind of picked up on it so quickly because th I think that's the best version of an Easter egg when it's, mm -hmm. it's subtle, but when a fan sees it, they're just like, ah, like, I know what that is. Right, so we're going to finish things off today by playing a little game. Uh, okay. I'm going to test your Sonic knowledge uh -oh. here, if that's fine with you. Uh -oh, I'm getting nervous. As we play a All right, game. bring it on. We play a game that's called True Blue. True Blue, and it even has illustrations. Or no Botnik. Ah, okay. So I'm going to hand these to you. All right. And I'm going to give you a list of Sonic characters from the past. And you've got to tell me if they're real, true, okay. or if I've made them up. Okay. So we'll start with an easy one Big the Cat. True Blue, baby. That's a true blue. Uh, right. Planet of the Ape. Planet of the Ape. Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 
That's no bot deck. Uh, Echo the Dolphin. Uh, also in the Sega family, but not uh, in the Sonic family. That's correct, and no botnik. You're three for three so far. All right. Right, let's try to get some difficult ones now. Bean the Dynamite. Bean the Dynamite. Very obscure, but true blue. It's true blue from Sonic Fighters. Uh, Fang the Sniper. Uh, also true blue. It is a true blue from Triple Trouble. Tony the Tiger. Uh, I don't remember ever hearing they're great <laughs> in a Sonic game, so... He is no botnik. Okay, last couple. Bark the polar bear. Bark the polar bear. Uh, I'm actually going to go with true blue. That's correct. Yeah, you get in there. Okay, we've got a few more. Espo the chameleon. Yes, true blue. That's from Knuckle Codex. Buddy the elf. Buddy the elf. Oh, I love that movie, but again, not a Sonic. <laughs> Right, to get the full 10, Storm the Albatross. Storm the Albatross, true blue, it's baby. It's true blue! 10 out of 10, right. fans. What did I win? Uh, well, the, uh, the knowledge uh, that you know more no, about Sonic Codes than anyone on. else. You should have got that uh, out, out, out front earlier. There were no prizes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, It's an absolute pleasure. Great Happy talking to you. Here. Thank you very much. Let's go!